Ladies and gentlemen, they've dropped another one. We have the Team of the Season crafting upgrade. This one has a ton of objectives to get free Team of the Seasons and 83 times 20 packs. And I'm going to show you how to get it for free. So all you've got to do to say thank you is drop a like down below, subscribe if you're new, and let's get into it. If you guys are still stuck with a team like this, and everyone you play in champs has a team like this, then you need to head over to Skycoach in the link below. Not only have they got the cheapest and most reliable service for FIFA coins, you can pick any amount of coins, select your console, and put in code PROREECALL for 10% off. So first of all, let's go over to the objectives. I've actually already completed 30 of these so far. So let's pop on and have a look what I've got. So for the 30 so far, I've got a 1 of 3, 83 plus rare gold. Not too bad, especially in tots. We've got an 83 times 2, an 83 times 10, an 83 times 2, and another player pick. So let's get these player picks out of the way. I'm actually going to back out uh, and get the whole group because I didn't know you could do that until today. Uh, that shows even us who are making videos on this game every single day still don't know everything. So we've got the two 83 plus player picks. Got an 84, not too bad. Definitely could be better than that. Uh, and an 83. So it seems like those player picks specifically have probably been underweighted a bit because a lot of the times with the 82 plus player picks, we're getting 85s, 86s in the, the standard pack. So that might just be a poorly weighted one. But we've got these three packs here. So we'll pop these open. Of course, I know that this isn't part of the method, but I'm sure you guys want to see how weighted these packs are and what they're looking like. So we're going to get rid of him. We're just going to do this quickly to have a it's not too bad. We've got ourselves an 85. I'm going to quick sell uh, just to make this a little bit faster, but that's decent. We've got an exchange pack out of that. Can we get a tot? We've got a tot. Now, this could be... St oh, is that Kubo? It's not Kubo. Who is that? So, we've got... Sugawara. And he looks like he's on his own. I think, yeah, he's on his own. That's a bit of a shame because he's not like La Liga tots, which would have been nice. But a couple cards, they can go towards, obviously, other SPCs as well. Decent pack so far. How do we go about getting these free? Well, first of all, there's a couple options of doing this. Now, if we go over to standard upgrades, we go all the way to the end. We've got your daily gold upgrade. Now, in theory, if you just do, you know, the four that you get every day, I think this SPC is out for 20 days. So I don't even need the calculator for that. Four of these a day. Each of these will complete one of the crafting upgrades. So over 20 days, it's 80 upgrades. So you can get 80 upgrades essentially for free because these SBCs are free and these get you that. So you could get 80 of these for free without doing anything else. And that's that. You won't complete it, but you get 80 for free. If you want to go further than that, you're going to have to not put these into the upgrade initially. What you do is you take these from this SBC. So let's go complete one of these. We obviously pop this open. We get ourselves our bronzes in and we submit. I've actually done that on the app. I find it easier to fill out squads there. So done that there. So for that, we get a small bronze players pack. So we do get bronze players back anyway. So even what we're putting in, we're getting back out. You might even get rares, which are more valuable anyway. So then we've got our gold upgrade done. Then what we do is we take it to the premium mixed league upgrade. Now, as always, I've got a link down below of how you can complete that SBC completely free or how you can craft that and and craft it in a limited amount of time but essentially you put those 44 cards in let's say 30 of them go in you spend coins to get the rest of the squads built and then you open the packs and craft back in now what you do with the spare players is up to you you can either put it directly into the crafting upgrade because they're going to fit or you can put it in the 82 plus player pick now the player pick is going to be basically more likely in my opinion to get you a team of the season out of it it's probably not going to be Vinny, but you're going to have a team of the season out of that more likely Obviously, the whole process we're going for is creating the crafting upgrade. It just depends how much of a rush you're in. We've only got 48 hours left of this, so spare cards. You're free to put them in there in the meantime, but obviously, this is the main aim. Now, it's a bit disappointing that we didn't get anything amazing from those packs, but a team of the season is a team of the season nonetheless. Now, once you obviously do that journey of crafting those packs, you know, every now and then in the League SBC packs, you're going to get the likes of an 89, which you then put into a 51 players pack. You open that and then you craft a load of these crafting upgrades really easily. I mean, if you see how easy it is, you've got a ton uh, of gold commons there and then some gold rares and obviously all the duplicates just go back in. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pop some of these open over on console to see how good they are. We've got the first one opened. We've got an 84, 81s. So we've got an 81 there. To be fair, considering it's a 77 plus, that's a pretty... I just realized these are 77 times 5. These packs are actually really good. I thought these were... I, I was opening the wrong packs there. That's actually ridiculous. We've got two packs back to back, 84s in both. That's pretty damn good. 
Now, in this process, you might want to get marquee matchups done as well, because this is an SBC that you're always going to make profit from. You can generate that profit back into doing more of these SBCs because it wouldn't hurt to buy some of these. I do find it easiest, by the way, guys, to do it like this, to build it over either on the companion app or the web app. You can see here, it's very easy if it initially puts a gold rare player in for you, because then it stops you having to fiddle around with the packs and do any more. Now, I've obviously got 30 of these done already. You can see once you actually get a rare in every squad that's selected, it's very, very easy easy uh, to do it and it makes things so much damn easier and as you can see uh, we're gonna have to go find a rare that's always a little bit annoying when you've got to do that we're going to scroll down we're just going to pop open a few of these packs i'm going to show you the highlights we'll do sort of i mean we could just do all of them see if we get a tots we've got an 84 there from that first one again we've seen an 84 in pretty much all of these packs so far another 84 we've literally seen an 84 in every pack okay i think these are glitch guys because all we're seeing is 84s on the front of every single pack i don't know if this is maybe capped or something right now i think maybe they're scamming us but we are just seeing 84s on 84s Okay, finally. I know that sounds weird, but I'm actually glad to not see an 84. Okay, another 84. We're back to uh, we're back to the 84 grind. I mean, if you haven't done the 86 doubles, this is probably a pretty damn simple way to get them done very easily. It seems like we are not getting anything without 84s. It would be nice to see maybe an 86, an 87, or even a team of the season at some point. Renard would be lovely. We are not going to complain about that at all. So we've got Renard there. Got a couple 83s and stuff, but realistically, the meat of that pack is Renard. That is a whole 89 exchange, which will cover another five five or six of these SPC packs. So that is absolutely brilliant. Obviously, that's kind of what you're looking for when doing this method is if you get yourself a Renard, then you're absolutely laughing because she then covers a load more of these packs, puts you in a position where you can get as I say, just a load more done without having to do really anything. And that is why these kind of methods work. Because once you've done the League SPC a ton of time, maybe done 30 of these, you can stop and just do these until you open the all pack like I am now, and then see if you do get anything that's going to contribute to more of these. We cannot stop getting these 84s. Okay, 85, nice. Rashford, I don't even think I've got Rashford at the minute, so that's a nice one. Easy, don't have to exchange it immediately. It would be nice to see blue guys, I'm not going to lie. I know the 84s are good. It's not something I can complain about because it's a decent rated fodder, but it would be nice to just see some blue i haven't really seen a lot of blue since the liga tops obviously i haven't completed my weekend league we've obviously got a div rivals coming up but i would like to see some before that there you go we got an 86 finally that is another exchange pack to be honest i'd say the weight on these is pretty damn good all things considered we're getting 84s a lot we're getting renard a lot well, renard a lot we got renard lance we're getting decent rated cards that's the worst one we've had so far is an 82 on the front okay that's officially our worst pack we got an 80 on the front there a little bit bit disappointing but to be honest not mad about it because it's the first one that's been like an arguable stinker so we have hit a bit of a wall we lost a, a few packs there where it was just stinkers but we'll take it we got fabinho back again okay rolfo we take an 87 um i'd say that's another decent exchange pack we can't complain about these packs at all really i mean it would like i say be very nice to see a blue so if ea could just take note of that what we'll do is we'll pop open the 27 and 19 packs from rolfo and renard just to see what kind of contribution we're getting to towards obviously more packs if we can maybe get a tot out of those because that's the thing with these methods is if the weight is poor on one of them for example if the weight on these packs that we're open now isn't great we could go ahead and we can go and open these other exchange packs which may have better weight on them at that time because ea does change the weights of sort of different classes of packs very often so we'll do the 19 first that's gonna get us not a great pack apparently but the 27 is another exchange pack we've got to take that every single day we cannot complain about that we love to see more exchanges i think that's bastoni there as well which i believe is also another exchange pack so we're definitely cooking obviously i'm quick selling a lot here you should not be doing that i'm only doing that because i'm lazy and we still haven't broken the 84 curse from the looks of things oh okay we got an ossiman that's nice anything else in the pack Ossiman's good enough. That's a nice exchange pack there. What we'll do is we'll pop him in one and then we'll just open those up as well because, of course, nice contribution. We can see if anything comes of that. Sure, that's nice. We can't complain. Back-to-back -back extra exchange packs there. Of course, I forgot to go and open the one that we're going to have got from Ossiman. So we'll open those two there and I'm almost done. Um, and I'd say so far, we haven't got anything like amazing from these packs. Obviously, from the objective packs, we managed to get ourselves a blue, which is obviously nice. We didn't manage to get anything sort of worldly good in terms of like a nice blue but the reality is we're 30 into a 150 uh, set of these objectives obviously these are essentially going to be the worst rewards as you get on your guaranteed team of the seasons which i think is pretty damn crazy that you're literally getting a free tots just for doing an objective which gets you more packs anyway there's not really an l in there at all 
Let's get that 19 players pack opened as well. So this is for Peugeot and, of course, uh, Ossimum. We've got Navas there. I mean, these are just really cooking because everything we're getting is going to be a contribution to something else that's going to help us with this method. Last three packs. So this is our last three chances to get a blue. We've got ourselves a Serbi, not quite blue. I mean, he's got a blue badge not because he's disabled because, because his club has a blue badge. Oh, okay. I wasn't even concentrating there. I don't really know what happened to my concentration, but we got Robertson with a 84. Um, so nice contribution to an 86 double. And of course, another exchange pack. And the final 80, 80, 77 plus five. You know what? Last pack's always an L. We always know that, but we absolutely take it. We've got quite a lot out of that, all things considered. And you guys are going to go smash it as well. I will be doing all of the tots from this objective in one video over on Shorts. So make sure to check that out. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.